everyone. Welcome back to Grant Me. Uh, today I'm here with Colin. He is one of our Grant Me students and I'm so excited to be interviewing him today. Um, we're going to be talking about a lot of, lot of fun stuff, his uh, favorite Grant Me tool, um, overcoming challenges and applying to scholarships and winning them. Um, so my first question for you, Colin, is tell us a little about yourself. Yeah, so uh, like you said, my name's Colin. Um, I'm currently uh, living in Ontario. I'm a grade 12 student this year, and I have been spending the last couple months uh, applying for scholarships, applying to universities. Uh, I applied to eight different ones, so that was a lot of work, but uh, now I am heading off to Ottawa next year to go study uh, computer science at Carleton. Oh, perfect. That's really exciting. Um, yeah. And so how much did you win in scholarships with Grant Me? Um, so there's, it, it's kind of like an estimated total just because it, it is a full ride. So they pay for my, the, my whole tuition. So it's an estimated 160,000 uh, because uh, I'll be working at a company next year and they also pay me a, a salary. So that's, that's included in that as well. That's so impressive. And can I ask, where are you working? Um, it's an internship, right? Yeah, it's uh, a four year internship um, at Shopify at their office in uh, Ottawa. They're an e-commerce company. Uh, so setting up online shops for websites and all of that. So I will be working there. I'll uh, get trained on what it's like to be a software developer in the real world, as well as doing my uh, studies at Carleton at the same time for computer science. Um, so they'll teach me about what that's like. I'll get different placements on uh, on their different teams. So I could be doing marketing. I could be doing back end development, front end development. Um, it, yeah, it, there's a whole bunch of different options for me, and uh, right. yeah, I can't wait to see where it takes me. No, I'm so excited for you too. That sounds like a brilliant and very unique opportunity. Not a lot of people get a four-year internship, you know, right going into university, especially, um, you know, in the field that they um, are studying. Um, and Shopify, as we all know, is very growing very fast and very up and coming. Um, so you're going to get a lot of great experience. And um, of course, Carleton itself is a great university as well. So super, super excited for you. Um, and now let's Let's talk a little bit about your um, scholarship journey. Now we all know that you know winning that internship and applying to all these scholarships is not an easy journey. Um, you know, so I I guess my first question is, what was the most common struggle you had when applying to these scholarships? It could be motivation, it could be the actual writing part, um, but something that comes to mind when something that you struggled with. Yeah, I think my. My number one struggle would probably be be the writing part. Um, I've always been a, a good writer, um, but it's not something I stay completely motivated with. I don't find it an extremely exciting task. Um, so what I like about um, you know doing scholarships with Grant Me is the fact that I'm able to just submit my writing and I don't have to edit it myself. Uh, I can have someone else do that for me. Um, and so I also find that the questions that a lot of scholarships ask are very vague. Uh, so some of them will be like, what's what's the thing you like most about yourself? You know, right. I, I like a lot of things about myself, but it's, it's hard to pick one. And so it's very vague and you have to actually do some thinking about what you want to write about. And then actually putting pen to paper is a whole different thing, especially if you're, if writing is not your favorite thing, because that's what a lot of scholarships are based off of. Right. Um, so and any, you know, service that can get a, at least a chunk of that out of my hands, it, you know, I'm all for it. Perfect. I honestly, that is probably the, my next question was going to be, what's the, your favorite Grammy tool, but I, I can probably take a good guess that it's the essay wizard and the editing team. Um, which is a very common answer for um, for a lot of our students because, um, and you're right, a lot of these questions are very vague. So um, a way that we tell our students that they can kind of, you know, jump ahead of that curve and, um, you know, stand out is uh, making their uh, essays compelling and being authentic and, um, you know, through our templates and through our inline recommendations and the recommendations that our editors give, it's a, it's very much like that's kind of what we 
um, when we look at an essay, that's what, the first thing we ask is, okay, like how can we make this compelling? How can we make it so, you know, out of the hundreds of applications that um, the scholarship is getting, you can kind of see a human behind this one application. So is that something that you kind of found that helped with the essay editing team? Yeah, I, I definitely think so because, you know, um, you want to make your essays, you know, as compelling as possible. And I found one of the main feedbacks I got on a lot of my essays was try and think of a more compelling hook. Because if you don't catch your reader in your first sentence or two, they're not going to be interested for the rest of your essay or paragraph or whatever you're writing. And so, you know, you want to make it compelling. You also want to uh, tell them kind of what they want to hear. Um, you know, you don't want to, you know, be completely blunt, you know, you don't like something, you don't want to state that in your essay. So you kind of want to tell them what they want to hear, but you also want to make sure that, that they can see a person behind it. You don't want it to be completely fabricated. You don't want to fabricate it, but um, you, you also want to make sure that you, um, you know, kind of convey yourself as a person, not just as a writer. Mm -hmm, definitely. Um, that's kind of, that's a big tip that we give as well. A compelling hook is a, um, it's actually a, one of the most common advice I give out to students um, when I edit essays as well. And my most, like the advice that I can give to anyone who is trying to write a compelling hook is just be personal. Like, you know, don't start with general statements. Don't start with questions. Don't start with, um, you know, cliche quotes, because I can bet you that the other 50 applications that they're reading have like the same exact quote they're using. So it's good that um, that's the one advice you got, because that's probably what uh, got you to win all that money. Um, and so my next question for your um, scholarship journey is, um, how did you manage your time? Because we know that, you know, writing a ton of scholarships and applying to internships, it takes a lot of time, especially when you're a high achieving student and you're trying to get those good grades and you're as well as being a Grammy student. Um, and, you know, our program does help a lot with like the essay wizard and optimizing all that stuff, but it's still a lot on your plate. So I guess um, to the people watching this, what would be your number one time management tip? Yeah, so it, it, it's definitely been a very um, time consuming process. Um, you know, it, it's not something that can be taken lightly. You need to put in a lot of hours every week. Um, and thankfully, I'm no stranger to having a full plate and having to organize my time. I all throughout my life, I've, you know, been playing a ton of sports. And then, uh, you know, I have to do a whole bunch of homework and then, you know, music as well. And then uh, this year, I was the, the president of student council at my school and also a member of our DECA club or an executive of our DECA club, which is business competition. So I've always got stuff uh, on my plate. I become restless if I don't. So I'm always looking for new stuff. Uh, so over, I think over the years, I've gotten good at, um, you know, being able to organize all the different tasks and being able to prioritize. Um, so I think one of the things that really helped me uh, organize that was being able to write out all the things uh, you know I'm, I don't usually pull out a pen and paper and do it and that's fine that's that's something that a lot of people will do but I, I'll do it on the computer I have a Microsoft to do app or just use whichever one you want it doesn't have to be you know physical on pen and paper as long as you can see it in front of you and say okay here are the things that I need to do then you're able to kind of structure each day and say, okay, which one has the most recent due date? Which one do I need to prioritize first? And then you can say, oh yeah, I can push this one back a day or two. It's not completely urgent right now. Um, so as long as you're able to visually see it in front of you, um, I think you should be golden for, for uh, time management and organization. Right, that's a that's a tip that um, the Grant Me team, it, like we use in our offices too, is um, you know visual cues are very important because it's kind of sometimes like out of sight, out of mind. If you can't see it, it doesn't exist. Um, and I liked your point about you know 
using what works for you because um, you know I've talked to a lot of students and some prefer paper and pen because you know it's the actual act of writing that kind of solidifies in the brain and other people like using online calendars because it's uh, it's way more accessible so it's very interesting to see the difference and it really and honestly it kind of makes sense for you since you're a computer science major that you like more online stuff <laughs> um, so yeah no that's great and I'm, I'm really glad that it works for you because it's it's um, it's very encouraging when you do find a system that works for you and you can use and you know that that that's like your um, way to success. Um, and now I want to kind of end this with um, a little bit about your future. Um, now I know you have, you know, your four-year internship with uh, with Shopify. You're doing a computer science degree. Where do you see yourself in the next four years? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I think. Uh, you know, having an internship at Shopify is going to be an excellent way to kind of kickstart my career as a software developer. I'm going to University for Computer Science, as I mentioned, but then once I'm done that, I want to become a software developer. Um, and so um, at Shopify, you, you have that four year internship. And then what they try to do is they try to have a 100% retention rate. So they want to keep all of their interns as full-time employees after your your term is done. So that's kind of something I, I'm hoping for uh, because then I can get a you know well-paying job, uh, already have some experience in my pocket and be uh, efficient. Um, and so I, I think further down the road past that, I'd want to kind of create my, my own company, create my own software. I've always been a, a big leader um, so I think I would do well with managing people. Um, so yeah, that, those are kind of my, my goals. Yeah. Perfect. That's a great answer. Um, and so now my final question is if there is anyone out there, someone who's either watching this video or someone looking at grant me, or even just looking into scholarships, um, and they're thinking, I don't know if I should apply to this. I don't know if I should join grant me. Um, they're just very confused about the scholarship process. Um, what is your advice to them? Yeah. Um, and I would say up until November, when I joined grant me, I was very much in the same boat. I had no idea where I needed to go. Um, I didn't know where to find scholarships. You know, I've been hearing from uh, my guidance team at school. You know, there's uh, millions of dollars of unclaimed scholarships um, every year, but like I didn't know where to find these scholarships to claim that money. Um, so I, I was kind of getting nervous. I realized, you know, it's university's coming up. I don't think I've got that much time to start applying for scholarships. Um, and then I found Grant Me, and I, you know, uh, the employee took me through a tour of the dashboard um, and showed me, you know, you've matched to all these different scholarships. And I was like, wow, you know, I would have never been able to find this by myself. And I have no doubts about uh, joining Grant Me. They've been absolutely fantastic to me. Um, and they've been able to help me find scholarships that I would have never been able to uh, find by myself. And I would have been uh, completely lost. So yeah, it's, de it's definitely been a, a great investment for my future. Perfect. And that's exactly what we say uh, to potential students is this isn't a, this is an investment into your future like you would invest in anything else. Your future is probably the one thing that you should invest in. Um, so I'm so glad that you got that out of Grammy and I'm so glad you've been enjoying the tools as well as our unlimited support. Um, and again, thank you so much for agreeing to interview with me. Um, and thank you everyone for watching and I will see you guys all next time.